Hey everyone, so a little bit of background. Uh, I've been in web development for quite a couple of years now, probably say about eight years or so. Um, been dabbling around in HTML, JavaScript, PHP, um, a little bit of MySQL, things like that. Pretty much uh, haven't been formally trained to that effect. Was in IT previous to this. Um, sorting out Apple computers, PCs, etc. And prior to that, I was in the printing industry. So dealt a lot with the reproduction side where Photoshop and sorts of other Adobe applications quite extensively, ESCO artworks, etc. So I got quite a background in computers from about 1994 roughly, I would say. Um, till today and yeah so let's get started I want to speak to you guys today about upcoming Wepler uh, looks like a brilliant tool from the guys at DMX zone who have always produced great quality stuff for Dreamweaver through the years um, from my side I've been using DMX zone tools for probably about four years I would say um, in that time, created probably about 300 different projects, um, each with different levels of usage of DMX Zone extensions, and yeah, they've always been brilliant. So I'm going to try and get you started on Wepler, and I think that we're going to need to start off on the installation, which tends to be quite tricky. Uh, this is not for Windows, I have no idea how it would install on Windows. This is purely for Mac so far, and uh, I'm on Mac OS X 10.13.3 with the latest supplemental updates with every other update known to man. I have installed a virtual box, um, put on the latest operating system, updated the operating system, put in an Apple ID, and pretty much that is it at this point. So we should be starting on a totally fresh uh, foundation to get this thing going. I will be switching over from this uh, virtual box environment once the installation side of this is done to my normal MacBook Pro because literally this, uh, this environment doesn't tend to run very well. It's quite choppy. It makes the video quite ugly. So the day Plan to switch over to the normal one thereafter, but at least this should sort of get you up and going and started with the process. So we're going to start off uh, by pretty much going on to Safari. Uh, from there, we're going to go to the the Wepler website. This is obviously a temporary website, I'm assuming, for the community side for Wepler where we've got a bit of a forum. As far as I know, this was by invite only. So if you were lucky enough to be invited by the guys at DMX Zone, then great. Um, I'm going to block out my login because uh, yeah, obviously I don't want you seeing my email addresses or my login details. They are quite specific to this particular thing. And then we're going to pretty much download the latest beta 25 that came out just last night, which was on 8th March 2018. So, yeah, pretty much we'll download that. You can click on the getting started with Wepla beta and take a look at the, the instructions from there. They are very, very limited to say the least. Really, I couldn't figure out how to get this thing started myself initially without going through quite a few hoops so i've got that downloaded now and uh, let's just open up this installation of course mac with its general security issues something from not from the app store i'm assuming once this program comes out into a full sort of retail version that um, it'll be code signed correctly whatever it may be and once that's done we shouldn't have this sort of pain getting this thing started. Also assuming that the installation process will be much more automated so we don't have to do quite as much. Uh, dragging the Wepler application into the applications folder. 
so we can launch this for the first time. Put this in my dock. Keep it there for now. Probably going to ask me for my security again. Second. Taking its time. Okay, security coming up. Let's get this sorted out. Uh, apologies, everyone. Every now and again, you may hear my dog in the background barking his head off at pretty much anything. A cat next door, snake outside, who knows, from South Africa. So we do tend to have quite a bit of uh, wildlife running around and a few little insects, etc., that tend to throw them off the offers game for the day. Okay, let's open this up. Password. Okay, should be. Check. Again, I'm just blanking this out. It is actually typing underneath. All my details are secure. Login. It doesn't normally take this long to load, by the way, guys. This is literally this virtual box. It runs instead of on all four of the uh, cores of the processor, it tends to run on one runs on 2 gigs out of the 8 gigs of RAM, and if I put it any higher, it seems to bomb. Okay, project. Let's go with the blank project. Project name. I did read on the forum just today that um, for some particular reason, this naming was an issue for somebody else, and they had to do that particular project name as far as I'm aware without spaces. So just in case, I'm going to take those spaces out. Initially, I had a problem putting this onto a Dropbox account. Um, I've created a temporary Dropbox account just to test this. I'm going to put the name again without any spaces, hoping that that might have been my initial problem. But when I first tried this, um, the other betas, I think it was beta 24, the one just before this, I could not seem to get a project started if I was on a Dropbox account. So let's see if it's going to work this time. Um, this web URL that I'm setting up is a totally fake web URL. I do have my own um, dedicated server because obviously I host quite a few websites for clients. So I will make this into a real-life web server as such, not that the domain will ever be registered. Um, start off with the system check, because this seems to need a whole bunch of supporting libraries to be installed before it actually works correctly. So we're starting off with Node.js, which we'll have to download. Okay, it looks like it's a clickable link rather. Version I'm assuming. Let's see here. This one's recommended for most users, this LTS version. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, I won't go with the current latest just in case it causes problems. So downloads folder. Seems to already be downloaded. I'm not sure how to close this window. Just click off it. Okay, yeah, that does it. This download. So, same thing again. Looks like uh, we're going to have to go through the non app store program security questions and launch the app or force launch the app. I know that a lot of this is probably second nature to most people. Um, I am just literally going through it as I hit each and every step and just going. 
uh, one of my most frustrating things about tutorial videos, any form of training that I ever see online is where the guy says, I did a whole bunch of stuff in the background, but I'm not going to show you that because that is beyond the scope of this particular training tutorial. Uh, from my perspective, I would rather show you guys every single step of what I'm doing. If you don't want to see that particular step, feel free to fast forward as much as you like. Um, if you do need it, for those that will, well, great, at least it's there. So I've installed Node.js, let's do another system check and see where we're at. Okay, good. Command line developers install. <clears throat> I don't know exactly why it's saying good because I think this is Xcode. Okay. Assuming this is the command line developer tools for Xcode. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, it says so at the bottom, so it is. Through. Okay, so it's done Xcode, it still seems to need to do this Git repository. Node.js allowed me to download directly through this window, however on my last, uh, on another thing I did, I'm not sure if even Wepler, but it wouldn't allow me to download Git. Um, through a pop-up window for some reason. So let's see if this one does. Not automatically downloading, try and force it through the window. Another pain um, that I'm finding while well being on this uh, virtual box system is that my screen resolution and screen size that I'm having to work within is greatly reduced. Um, I've got three monitors on my particular system, the biggest one being a Philips 43 inch, and this is taking up a minute corner on the right hand side of my screen and chopping off half the stuff. So it is a bit of an irritation, but as soon as I go any larger than this on this particular window size, it seems to cause me quite a hassle. And the video becomes so choppy, it's virtually unwatchable. So forced to go down to this size while in this environment. Uh, once I get into the actual other sections within the Wepler training uh, and it's on my own, computer and not sitting on a virtual box with a Mac OS X High Sierra within a Mac OS X High Sierra installation, I'm sure that things will work one heck of a lot better. So just bear with this guys for a moment. Can this download should start now. As you can see, it's not a very simple installation process of just um, double clicking and installing or copying into the applications folder and you're done. You do seem to have to jump through a few hoops. I'm not sure if it's just while well, this is in the beta stage, if um, that's why. I'm assuming that that's the situation and I'm assuming the uh, final product will be a simple installation process. Again, we're going to have to go through the security for non-app non store code sign software. Right. Let's do it again. I will try and blank out all personal information within here. Um, keeping in mind, obviously, you know, I'm not too sure what hackers can do with certain information so I'll definitely blank out usernames make sure passwords always in dots etc however if uh, you guys do happen to see that I've left on an IP address or something that you feel I could be hacked into because of or something to that effect feel free to let me know 
Okay, it's just doing another system check now. Should have no JS Xcode um, the develop the command line developer tools as well as Git all installed. So the way I see it, this should come up with full success. Okay, that looks good. I'll read it further up here. So far, so good, guys. So that should be it for this video. Uh, once you've got that process done, your installation should now be 100% complete. I'm going to carry on and uh, start a second video, which will be setting up the FTP side, setting up a, uh, a server for this to actually go on to. And uh, once I've got those few basic parts done, then I'm sure that um, I'll be able to move over to my normal Apple and run at a much higher resolution and at a much better speed. So I hope that that sorts out everything for everyone. Quitting our Wepler and that should be it. I'll see you guys in the next video.